23 year old's got a birthday right around the corner. I'm sure, he hopes to still be playing baseball so he can celebrate in the bubble with his friends on October 10th. He'll turn 24 years old. From Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic. He fires, that's up high and off the mid of Molina all the way to the backstop. 98, but nowhere near the strike zone, so he'll walk Nola. Full count to Cronenworth. Drew a bases loaded walk last time up. He draws another walk. And remember, Tatis got off to this wonderful MVP caliber start, but he did peter off towards the end of the regular season. They need him to get going once again, and they have an opportunity here against St. Louis in this Cardinals bullpen, which had been so good, and then Cabrera walked the first two of the inning. Okay, we know that these, this year they only played against the National League West and the American League West, so they, they, they've not seen. He's not faced a lot of these guys that are coming out of the Cardinal bullpen, so he's been patient. He's been taking some pitches to try to see the release points, see what they got or whatever. Well, you know what? The number one thing that he had success doing this year was swinging at that first pitch. I think he might need to do that now if he can get something near the strike zone. Padres 2 for 12 with runners in scoring position tonight. Giovanni Gallegos on the mound now for St. Louis. Only appeared in 13 games in the regular season, but tied for the St. Louis team lead with four saves. Giovanni came over from the New York Yankees. Um, they need him to be good because they gave up a lot. It was Luke Voigt that went to the Yankees in that trade. He's picked up four saves during the regular season. 93 to 96 with a wipeout slider. Missed upstairs to Tatis Padres today. Two for 12 with runners in scoring position. Fernando Tatis is one for three. The 1-0 fouled off of Molina's face mask. Nobody's happy right now. Got to be the toughest man in all of baseball. You know that the catchers have to be the toughest guy. Look at that. Come on. I, I, I'm done. That happens to me one time. <laughs> I'm done. I'm telling you, I'm going back to my basement. I'm going to turn my modem up to full blast, and I'm just going to cry. Look at him. I mean, his eyes are still blinking. They're watering, but he doesn't miss a beat. That would have knocked your goatee cleaned off. Oh. <laughs> How does he do it? How, How does he know. sit back there and take four or five of those every night? He got people running into him at home plate. Yeah, and it's not just That's... catching it's the, the toll that the body takes playing every day earlier this season Yachty fouled a pitch off of his foot and Mike Schilt went out to check on his catcher and on his way back to the dugout he turned to the assistant athletic tra uh, trainer Chris Conroy and he said gosh I, I'm so worried about his toes can you imagine what they look like and Conroy said toes. He didn't have toes in those spikes. Those are just dust by now. <laughs> First player in Major League history to play 15 consecutive seasons with 100 games or more behind the plate. And as we know, by far, the best ability in any sport is availability. You know, you talk about right now the game being on the line, and Giovanni is just going to go to his book right now. They, Molina touched something on his body to change the signs with a man on second, so that's what they're doing there. They don't want to mix up right here. When you talk about this game possibly being on the line right here. You also know that you're talking about possibly the Padres' season. They need a win tonight to keep this magical season going. Still can't get it straight. You got to put the card in the back pocket. And Molina will go through the sequence as soon as Tatis is set. 
Well, I don't know how many times they've been to the mound, but. Two two pitch. This one ripped to left field and gone in a hurry. Tatis delivers the electricity with a three run shot. No crowd but the DJ spinning the lights are flashing and the Padres are back in this game thanks to Fernando Tatis Junior. Could that be the Padres version of Patrick Mahomes <laughs> coming up big like that in a huge moment is one of the things that the Kansas City Chiefs quarterback has done throughout his career. And look at the energy that he has brought to that dugout. And Jace Tingler told us before this series started that the energy that Tatis Jr. brings with him is contagious. Spin and breaking ball, middle part of the plate. He saw a couple of those on the first two pitches of this at bat. He knew exactly what he was looking for. He knew the spin of it. And now he's yelling at everybody, hop on this bus that I'm getting ready to drive. He said they're playing for the whole cake. They're down one now. And now Machado. Those two walks have both come home to score. Manny Machado is one for three. I'm, I'm glad the postseason baseball is happening. I can't help but think what this ballpark would sound like right now if Padres oh. fans were allowed to walk through the door. They would hear it from L.A. to Tijuana. Like if there's a foul ball, do you want that? Two balls in a strike to Manny Machado. Pedro what's it sound like there. Uh, well the volume has definitely been cranked up. No doubt about it when the Padres have been threatening the, the DJ has cranked it up. But before the game Manny Machado on his zoom call did say you have no idea how bad this city has been waiting for something like this and not to be able to be here hurts. But he said he's had guys who come into third base say to him during this season. If this crowd was allowed in here, this place would be incredibly rowdy. This city is known for that, he said. Upstairs, Machado shaking his head at Gallegos. That energy, the swagger is back now with these Padres and those clean looking white and brown pinstripes. Just kind of thinking about when Gallegos came into the game. In game one in the sixth inning with a couple of guys on he was able to get the strikeout with Fernando Tatis Jr. Fernando Tatis Jr. punching him back. <laughs> kind of just reading the facial expression from Manny there. It was kind of like I know that was a ball. I know that was ball four. But you know what this home plate for both sides from Corey Blazer has been wide. It might have been something that, 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 that he called strike three and I can't take that chance. I, I got to try to try to get a piece of it to possibly get another mistake. Sixteen home runs in the regular season for Machado just one off of Tatis's pace. And that one's launched to left field. They go back to back. Padres have tied it with Tatis and Machado. Only the grounds crew is rowdy. Tatis dialed in. And two guys that have followed each other all season have now powered the Padres back into this game. 
was almost like offensively they were asleep. I know they scored four runs last night, but it, they had a lot of opportunities to score a lot more than that, and they weren't able to do that. The gifts that the St. Louis Cardinals gave them to start off the bottom of the sixth inning. Those two walks set the table for the two guys that have done it all year long. And there was no bout of doubt. Either one of those home run. Here we go. Feed me. Feed me. I'm hot. Tough to find a team that hits the ball harder than the Padres. You know, I, I, I totally agree with you. And, and, I, and I, we, we've talked about that from top to bottom. And the combination of power and speed, you're not going to see the speed in this series because of the arm strength behind the plate of, of Yadier Molina. But we have been waiting. We talked about that power before this series even started. The Padres have been waiting. Where's it at? It's been there all year long. It took a while, but here it is.